there guys! This video is uh, one that was requested quite a while ago, but I'm finally getting around to. This is basically a flip through of my bullet journal setup from uh, June 2016 through September 2016. And I'm gonna make sure that I uh, mention and link below all of the products that are used in here and where I got them from. Um, so we'll start with the notebook itself. This is a Chic Sparrow Deluxe Outlander personal size in the color Verona. Um, I got this off the buy sell trade group. I believe the color Verona is actually being discontinued So you may not be able to get it from the Chic Sparrow site itself But I'll link that page as well just in case it's still available when you see this video um, I really love this notebook. It's this gorgeous buttery soft leather. It's kind of squishy um, and it does not really scratch um, if you kind of scratch it You can see that um, you can kind of just rub it out and so I've scratched a couple times with my nails and keys and things and it really doesn't stay long term see it's kind of gone already um it just kind of gets sort of dense i guess um because it has that sort of soft supple texture but um it's just a really gorgeous notebook and so um this is the personal size that i've been using these charms are or the charm here and the bookmarks down here are from an Etsy shop called Fur and You. Um, she has a lot of really gorgeous traveler's notebook um, bookmarks and charms and things. And this one here is like a felt flower. I think the lighting might be a little off here. Uh, but it's this really pretty little felt flower with the beading and everything on here. She has a lot of really gorgeous things that are similar to this. Some are fabric and some are just beads, but you should really check her out. Uh, there's a link below, as with everything. This little charm here just came off a um, party favor that I got at my goddaughter's baby shower. Um, so I don't know where it came from, but I thought it would be really cute on here. And I just threaded it onto the loop of the jump band. And then it just sort of sits right at the base there. Um, these planner clips are from a shop called uh, My Rubber Stamp on Etsy, and they're just little, um, I'll pull it off, paper clips with this little fabric bow. And these have like unfinished edges, but they're really stretchy, so it's like a, a knit fabric and it doesn't uh, fray really. These have held up really well, so they're really cute, and I like that they're the neutral colors, so they really go with anything. Uh, inside here, this is the deluxe, so it has the pockets. I have this pad of sticky list notes. Uh, these came from mochithings.com. I really like the design, but unfortunately they're not really very sticky. Um, I especially have trouble sticking them to like plastic dashboards in this uh, pocket thing here. Uh, it sticks a little bit better to paper, but really not as much as I would like. So I like to use these for like shopping lists and stuff, but sometimes they sort of peel off and Fortunately, I haven't lost any, but um, you know, that's one thing to be to keep in mind. Uh, this plastic pocket here, on this side it has a long pocket that I use to keep checks. Um, on this side it has two pockets, so this is where I was keeping my driver's license and a couple other cards uh, until I moved my wallet stuff out of here uh, for my October setup. On this side it's got the pockets, on this side it has a zipper pouch where I keep stamps, a nail file, so I always have one, and there's a stencil here. I usually keep a ruler in here, but I've misplaced it. Uh, so it's just got a little zipper here. I got this pocket from an Etsy shop called Catbox Shop. It's advertised as being like A6 slash personal size, um, so I can't really speak to how it would fit in an A6. Um, in the personal, it kind of tends to sit so that this side is a little bit short and this side is a little bit long. The zipper pull itself kind of sets um, like farther out than the rest of the inserts. So I really like to have the dashboards in here to protect the edges so that they don't get caught on this zipper. But it's really nice having the pocket in there. Uh, the cardstock that's my covers for all of my inserts, because I made most of these inserts myself, um, it comes from either Michael's or Joann's. This one came from Michael's, it's a like gold foil cardstock. Um, this little bow clip came in a set of four from Daiso. I'm not sure if they're still for sale, but I've seen a few different planner people with these clips. It's really just handy, it's just like a little paper clip. Um, this insert here is the one I use for our Bible study homework and notes. 
Um, I am using the Southworth business paper. Um, I tried to order the legal size because that way I'd be able to get twice as many pages out of it, but Amazon sent me the letter size twice instead of the legal size, and so I just decided to keep it and whatever. I have more paper than I know what to do with. Um, and this paper is, has a really nice kind of, you can hear that, it's got a texture to it, which I kind of like, um, but unfortunately it doesn't work that great with the erasable pen because um, the ink in the pen sort of sits inside the, um, I don't know, the texture of the paper. So it kind of stays put even when you try to erase it, but maybe smears a little bit, but it's still really nice and I enjoy that. Uh, this dashboard here came from a shop called uh, Plan the Day and she was really great. She um, worked with me. I wanted it a little bit shorter because I was using the six and a half um, height for this insert and uh, she was you know worked with me gave me exactly what I wanted she would have given me a different design but I decided to go with this one um, and I've linked the exact item below she also has um, some Hogwarts house dashboards uh, that at least there's listings for those in you know I think they might be covers for Erin Condren's but she has a couple different um, different things for sale in her shop that are really cute this insert is my long-term collections insert um, and this I don't know where I got this piece of uh, scrapbook paper from it's been just in a box of mine for forever but um, the paper inside is all just plain old copier paper because this was like one of the first inserts I made probably the first insert I made um, I got this dot grid off uh, incompetech.com that's the guy who uh, makes all of the royalty free music that I use in my videos as well. He is amazing. Uh, let's see if we can actually show this. It's kind of faint. So I'm not really sure if it's gonna show up in the video here, but um, I made it four millimeter dot grid instead of five, which is what you usually find in things like moleskins and moisturms and all of that. Um, I, Cause I wanted to be able to fit more dots per page and I write pretty small anyway. So it worked really well. Um, this paper is fine for the erasable pen, but not great for other kinds of ink that sort of bleed through a little bit. So, I mean, it's just printer paper. So what do you expect? These little clips here are called book darts. Um, I'll link the Amazon page below where I got these. I heard about these at first from Carrie Harling, who just uses them to like mark where she is on like a monthly spread. Um, but I like to use them to clip multiple pages together because they're so flat and you can clip, you know, three or four pages pretty well. Uh, and so when I don't need pages, uh, it just helps me to flip through quicker if they're stuck together. Let's see, we already showed that. Um, this dashboard, this dashboard, and this dashboard, which is double-sided, here's the inside, um, all were like freebies that were given to me by um, the person who I bought this notebook from off the buy sell trade group. Um, and it just works out that the colors match what I was going for anyway, which is sort of a vaguely teal um, and kind of neutrals palette. Um, so that's really cute and I've been using those. Cause like I said, I like to be able to protect the notebook from the zipper cause otherwise the cover kind of gets caught on there and it starts to rip it up. I know that this scrapbook paper came specifically from um, Joanne. I got like a, a packet of various different ones and these are eight and a half by 11 size papers um, which doesn't matter it's plenty big enough but it's uh, this one is one of them and I, it's a couple different patterns that you'll see as some of my monthly covers if you go back and look at some of my other videos um, and they're all this teal color so if it's again my color scheme um, this monthly insert which has all of my dailies and to-do lists and things for the month this is September which you've seen quite a lot if you've been following me in my or if you did follow me in my one month in my bullet journal minimal budget challenge uh, series, I uh, just check my channel and there's a whole playlist of all of those videos. But this paper here is the Rhodia dot pad. Uh, it comes in a big pad and I'll again link where I got it off Amazon and it was not that expensive. I want to say maybe 15, 20 bucks and you get a decent number of papers. I think I'm only halfway through it and I've been using it for a few months. This stuff is really smooth and so it's I mean, well known for being a really great fountain pen paper, which is why I originally got it because I was using a fountain pen for a while. But it also does work really well with the erasable ink, which I went back to. Uh, because it's smooth, it erases really cleanly. So that's nice. Let's 
see. This insert is the um, Tomoe River Paper insert from Taroko Shop. I got this off their Etsy store, but I know I've seen Taroko Shop products, I think on Amazon, a couple other places as well. Um, I wanted to try the Tomoe River Paper partly because I had gotten that fountain pen and was trying to get some more fountain pen friendly papers, um, partly because it is so thin that I can fit 90, 96 pages in here. Um, and the insert I had in here from, this is my long-term collections insert. The insert I had in here before, which I think had the Southworth business paper in it, um, was like half as many pages and the same width. So I wanted to be able to have a long-term collections, sorry, short-term collections insert that uh, fits more pages and therefore lasts longer. Um, what I didn't realize is it's lasting so long that there's so many pages in here that I don't use anymore that kind of feel like clutter, but that's just me. Um, so it just comes with this plain blue kind of cardstock uh, cover. And it's also a five millimeter dot grid, as is the Rhodia, by the way, those are both the same. Um, all of these little sticky notes also came from uh, Mochi Things, where I got the list, uh, shopping list sticky notes. They come in this cute little guy here. Um, so just like this, and there's plenty of them in there. I just keep like up to five of each one in here. I should actually need to restock some of these because I like having the flags when I'm migrating things, especially. I'll mark the pages that I want to migrate into a new setup. So I've been doing that for my October setup. Um, these ones here are just post-its that I had in here before I bought these, but that's what it looks like and it fits in here nicely. And then finally this last insert, which I think I've shown you all of the products used. This is just the Southworth paper as well. Um, and it is uh, just blank because I enjoy journaling on blank paper and this is just my long form journal. And then in order to keep more in here than I have strings for more inserts, I use just a plain old rubber band from the supply drawer. Um, and that works really great. I believe that that is everything, um, except for the pen, which I don't think I'm going to link below, but uh, this barrel is like from the multicolor collection that you can buy. I think I got this at Office Depot. Uh, it came with a red one, a black one, and a blue one. And um, it's the 07, which I don't really care for. The insert in here is for the 05, and you have to get that online, or um, I bought I had a silver barrel one and I temporarily misplaced that. So I've put the refill inside here because I like the 05, the narrower line. Um, I got the 05 like barrel from a Japanese store. I think it's called Tokyo Lifestyle. Um, it's a chain. So if you're in Southern California, you can probably find one. Um, possibly some other regions. I don't know where else you can find Japanese stores, but they're pretty common around here. We have a lot of Asians in this area. Um, but yeah, I just the blue is fine, but I like the smaller uh, refill and I've gotten the refills from jet pens uh, because they have those in stock. So I think that that's everything. This has been a really good setup for me. I've been using it for four months, like I said, from June through September. It was pretty much the same setup um, as I used uh, before that, as far as like what inserts I have in here, um, but I moved into this cover in June. But you can go back, I can link uh, as well the video from the beginning of June. I think I did a setup video when I first moved into this, so you can see a little bit more maybe of my planning style and if things have changed since then, but uh, I think this is basically everything. I'll link that video at the end screen. So take a look at that, and then I will be posting continuously <laughs> throughout October. So um, I post videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see those, and I will see you soon. Bye!